Hello, this is John, N5ID. If you hear some fan noise in the background, I apologize. That's my little electric space heater running here in the sunroom. It's a little bit cool out here this morning. I wanted to take this opportunity to show you Nizer's latest firmware for the RS918. This is build 45 with the 96 kilohertz spectrum scope. And what I'm going to do to begin with is just let you hear how good the receiver sounds. The receiver and the digital noise reduction, the DSP is vastly improved in this firmware. We'll go over some of the great new features in this firmware in just a moment, but let's take an opportunity here uh, to listen to some sideband. And it's a very crowded band this morning. There's a lot of activity. I think there's a contest going on, so there's a lot of bleed over. Uh, but let's listen into this QSA. Another made a difference. See, anytime you, you double the voltage, you have the current. So that means them old six volt cars, the current was, was double what it was on the 12 volt one. And here's the noise reduction. But they made it to it in all those years. I think I got my beat set too loud. Well, a lot of problems back in them days. I guess we still got them now, different times, all happening. Okay. The noise reduction works much better. And the receiver in general is just much, much quieter. I love this new firmware, and again, we're going to look at some of the great features in this firmware in just a moment. Uh, let's see if we can find a CW QSO to listen into, and I'll show you how good it sounds on CW also. One of the nice things I like about the firmware, when I want to change frequencies and I want to go up and down the band with the extended uh, scope, all I have to do is just touch and I can skip up and down the band in chunks, which is really, really nice. Let me turn back over here to the antenna. Need to go to CW. Let me show you one of the nice new features. I got just a little bit off of the signal and what actually works in this firmware is the CW tune feature. It was called Snap in the 2.12.2 firmware. That's pretty nice. It actually gets right on the signal. It works. Whereas in the old firmware, I never could get I never could get the snap to work. It never would hone in on a signal. And so that's one of the really nice features of this. And of course the peak filter is really, really nice also. Let me go back to the signal. And one of the nice things about the peak filter is you can actually modify it for the best peak. That peak filter is really nice because it will it will pull a signal right out of the noise and the noise will melt away. Some of the really great improvements in this radio is the S meter. The S meter is much more accurate. I'm on the dummy load right now. And before when I would go to my dummy load, I would still see S3 or S4 on the meter. Now it works perfectly. I compared it to the FT710 and the two S meters are very very close and it's much more accurate the scope is much much improved uh, again the DSP the DNR is much better and in this video there will be uh, in the description 
a link to build number 45. Now, in CW, again, the CW tune works much better. The receiver's much improved. Uh, the CW memory keyer, which I actually have pulled up now, works much better. I apologize that you can't see the entire radio, but in order to see the screen better, I, I honed in on it. I'm going to hold down the AF button, and that goes back to the main menu. If you hold the AF button down, that pulls up the memory keyer. In the 2.12.2 firmware, the memory keyer was erratic. For instance, when I would send my call sign, I would send N5ID, and in the keyer, it might record it as N, and then a long space, 5, and then throw ID together. Now, it's just much, much better. I'm going to let you hear how much better it is. I've already recorded a test message here, and I am on the dummy load. As you can hear, the memory key is just much improved. I'm really impressed with this radio on CW. And again, this radio is really improved on sideband. The receiver is much improved. The digital noise reduction is much improved. And there's an improved transmit equalizer, which I want to show you how that works. You can still turn your compression on and off here using the AF key but that's all you can do with the compression is either turn it off or on to actually set up the compression you go into the main menu and you're going to notice some changes in the menu some of the items that were either in the standard or the configuration menu now have their own menu item like the receive iq balance and transmit iq balance agc has its own settings uh, the receive filters and equalizer are combined together in a menu item now here's the transmit filter and equalizer and here's the compression and inputs I'm going to open that menu up and I'll show you how I have my compression set up you can either turn the compression on and off here and with regards to the compression input gain and output gain these are very important I found with my voice and my radio the best setting that I came up with was one for the input gain and 1.8 for the output gain and I'll scroll through the menu and let you see the settings that that I have on the rest of the menu items now let's go back up and hide this menu and let's go into the transmit filter and equalizer and I set mine up with a transmit audio filter of tenor now the transmit equalizer bass frequency that's the default frequency uh, that the radio is set up with you can change that to tailor it i left mine at default you can set it to uh, your desired setting i set mine at minus six db on the bass uh, for, for me that just seems to work better and then here's the mid, the medium. Again, 730 hertz is default. Now I set mine up for plus four dB gain on the medium. And then 1400 hertz on the treble again is the default. I may change that later to around 2000 hertz. And I set mine up for plus five dB gain on the treble. I like taking some bass out and adding some treble and that seems to to work really well in my case and one more thing i'll show you the receive filter and equalizer you can go in here uh, to set up your receive bass and your receive treble frequencies i just left mine at default at least i think that's default and in here's where you set up your SSB filters and your CW filters. Remember not to 
eight Delta X-ray. Thank you, sleep to Rover Delta eight Delta X-ray. Uh, there is a contest going on this morning. I uh, also wanted to show you on the scope to change to change your scope to where the waterfall shows up. You simply hold down the band up and down buttons at the same time. And there's the scope and the waterfall. For waterfall only, hold the band up and down again and there's the waterfall only and I just like the scope so I'm going to go back to the scope again the scope is much improved now what I'm going to do is let you hear how good the radio actually sounds with the transmit audio on sideband I'm going to record this on my Yaesu FT710 and I'm recording it actually on the computer from the USB sound card on the FT710 and I'm using the hand microphone with this radio let me say this don't expect broadcast quality audio with this radio but it is really good uh, the old saying I've used it several times it is what it is well it's really good for a cheap Chinese radio testing the audio audio test I am testing into the dummy load. This is November 5, India Delta. Here's the computer screen, and I'm going to play back the recording. Testing the audio, audio test. I am testing into the dummy load. This is November 5, India Delta. As you can hear, it sounds pretty good. I really like this radio. I've said it many times on the videos I've made. I, I liked it in the 2.12.2 firmware, but I love the radio now with Nizer's 96 kilohertz spectrum scope and all the improvements that he has put into this radio. Again, there's a link to build 45 in the description. I know that recording may have sounded like that it had a little bit too much treble and was lacking some bass. That's the way I set my transmit equalizer up because when you're operating low power, I think it helps to remove bass and add treble to punch through the noise. A few other things that I want to talk about in conclusion of this video is some of the added features and added improvements. As I've already said, the digital noise reduction is much better the receiver is improved. Uh, the low pass and high pass receive filters really work well. You kind of need a stylus that is a, a little, has a little sharper point than mine. But if you can see the screen here, you can actually top, uh, touch on the top of the filter. There it is. Uh, and you can change your high pass filter. You can go through the various settings 50, 100, 150, 250. I'm leaving mine on 65. And then on the bottom part, if, and this is why you need a sharper pointed stylus than mine, you can tap on the bottom part and actually change your frequencies on the filter. And so that works really well, and that's neat. Uh, I think a great improvement in the filtering on this radio. It's just got better received filters. The SWR meter is improved and, and seems to work much better. And as I've already stated, the S meter is, is really improved. And so is the scope. One of the things that Nizer pointed out to me, and Nizer, if you're watching this, I don't know if your name's Nazar or Nizer, being a hillbilly from Arkansas, I just say Nizer. There's an SSB tune helper that is really neat, and I want you to see this. I wish I had a, again, a sharper pointed stylus than I do. Let me get over to the antenna. The band is really, really crowded. I'm going to turn the volume down just a hair. What you do with the SSB tune helper is 
if you're in LSB mode, you find a signal and the band's so crowded right now because of a contest. You find the signal that you want to be on and you just tap a little bit to the right of the mark and it should automatically tune that frequency in. Let me turn up the volume. Problem. Isn't that neat? And it's not I saw a signal there and I just tapped a little bit to the right of it and I'm right on frequency. If you're in USB mode, instead of tapping to the right, you tap just to the left of the signal and you're automatically right on frequency. And with that, you don't even have to use the VFO encoder. I say job well done, Nizer. That's a great feature on this radio. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to email me on my QRZ address. If you did enjoy the video, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you and God bless.